welcome back in this video i will discuss how to apply page rank algorithm to the given web page and find the ranks of each web page with a simple solid example i already solved few example on page rank algorithm link for those videos are given in the description below page rank is an algorithm originally developed by larry page and brin to rank web pages in a single search result Page rank works by assigning a rank to each page based on the number and quality of links to it. A page is important if it is linked to by other important pages. This is a given web graph. In this, we need to apply page rank algorithm to the given page, and we need to find the final page rank values. If you observe here, web page P one links to P three and P two. Web page P two links to P three and P four. Web page P three links to P one. Web page P four links to P five, and P five is a dead end. Here we will consider damping factor that is G is equal to point eight five. Now we will apply the page rank algorithm to this web graph and find the page rank. To find the page rank, we use this formula that is page rank of P which is equal to one minus T divided by N. Plus d summation of page rank of q divided by l of q, where k belongs to m of p, where m of p is the set of pages linking to page p, l of q is the number of outbounded links from page q. There are five pages p one, p two, p three, p four, and p five. Hence, n is equal to five. So we already know the damping factor that is d is equal to point eight five. Initial page rank, which is equal to one divided by n, that is one divided by five, which is equal to point two zero for all the pages. First, we will find the page rank equation for each web pages by using this formula. First, we will find the page rank of P one. So, page rank of P one. If you observe carefully, for the P one, incoming link is from P three, and for P three, we have one outbounded link, that is to P one. So. Page rank of P one, which is equal to one minus d divided by n, so one minus point eight five divided by five, which is equal to zero point zero three plus d, that is point eight five. When you expand this summation, we will get page rank of Q as page rank of P three because we have only one web page incoming to page P one, that is P three. So this will become page rank of P three divided by L of Q, that is L of Uh, P3. So the outbounded links to web page P3 is one. So L of P3 will be one. So this will become page rank of P1, which is equal to 0.03 plus 0.85 into page rank of P3. Next, we will find the page rank equation for page P2. So for P2, we have one incoming link that is from P1. P1 has two outlinks that is to P2 and P3. So In the equation, we will get page rank of P2, which is equal to this will become 0.03 plus 0.85. This summation will become page rank of P1 because this is only one incoming link to web page P2 divided by L of Q. L of Q is the number of outbounded links to uh, web page P1 that is two, so that this will become. Two. So once you do the simplification, we will get page rank of P2, which is equal to 0.03 plus. 0.425 into page rank of P1. Now we will find the page rank equation to the web page P3. So for the P3 we have two incoming links that is from P1 and P2. And uh, for P1 we have two outbounded links that is to P3 and P2. And the web page P2 has two outbounded links that is to P4 and P3. Once you put all the values in this equation, we will get page rank of P3, which is equal to 0.03 plus 0.85. This summation will become page rank of P1 plus page rank of P2 because we have uh, two incoming links to P3, that is from P1 and P2. That is what we are written here. And uh, L of P1, L of P1 is the outbounded links to page P1, that is two. So it is divided by two. And for L of P two L of two P two is also two, so this will become two. So page rank of P three, which is equal to zero point zero three plus point eight five, multiply with page rank of P one plus page rank of P two divided by two. 
now we will find the page rank for p4 so incoming links for the p4 is from p2 and for p2 we have two outbounded links to p3 and p4 so we will get the page rank of p4 which is equal to 0.03 plus 0.85 so page rank of p2 divided by l of p2 is 2 so uh, this equation will become 0 0.03 plus 0 0.425 into page rank of p2 now we will find the page rank equation for the web page p5 for p5 we have one incoming link that is from p4 and uh, for p4 we have one outbounded links that is to p5 so page rank of p5 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.85 divided by 5 plus uh, 0.85 page rank of p4 divided by l of p4 that is 1 so page rank of p5 which is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 into page rank of p4 so if you observe here web page p5 is a dead end so we must handle the rank leakage by redistributing its page rank equally to all five pages during each iteration so what we need to do we need to find the dead link adjustment so that is so dead link adjustment which is equal to page rank of 5 divided by 5 initially for all pages uh, page rank is 0.2 so that is what we are written here so 0.2 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.04 so now we need to find the uh, first iteration values by using the initial values so we, we already found the page rank uh, equations in that equations we need to put uh, initial values that is 0 0.2 uh, then we need to find the first iteration values so page rank of p1 which is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 page rank of p3 plus we need to adjust the dent end so this will become 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 page rank of p3 so initial page rank for all pages is 0 0.2 so that is what we are written here plus dead end adjustment is 0 0.04 so we will get page rank of p1 as 0 0.24 then page rank of p2 which is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 into page rank of p1 divided by 2 plus dead end adjustment here page rank of p1 is 0.2 so dead end adjustment is 0 0.04 so we will get page rank of p2 as 0 0.155 so next one is page rank of p3 that is 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 into page rank of p1 divided by 2 plus page rank of p2 divided by 2 plus dead end adjustment uh, page rank of p1 and page rank of p2 for the initial values are 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and dead end adjustment is 0 0.04 so we will get the page rank of p3 which is equal to 0 0.24 next page rank of p4 which is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 into page rank of p2 divided by 2 plus dead end adjustment page rank of p2 is 0 0.2 and uh, dead end adjustment is 0 0.04 so once you simplify this one we will get the value as 0 0.155 next we need to find the page rank for page p5 so page rank of p5 which is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.85 into page rank of p4 plus dead end adjustment so page rank of p4 is 0 0.2 and dead end adjustment is 0 0.04 so we will get page rank of p5 as 0 0.24 so these are the first iteration values once you find the first iteration values next we need to find the second iteration values by using the first iteration values but before finding the second iteration values we need to find dead link adjustment so here dead, in, uh, dead link adjustment which is equal to page rank of 5 divided by 5 page rank of 5 is 0 0.240 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.048 so we need to use first iteration values and this dead link adjustment and we need to find the second iteration values so we will get a page rank of p1 as 0 0.282 page rank of p2 as 0.18 page rank of p3 as 0.2459 page rank of p4 as 0.1439 and page rank of p5 as 0.2098 so once you find the second iteration values next we need to find the third iteration values by using the second iteration values so before finding the third iteration values again we need to find the dead link adjustment that is page rank of 5 divided by 5 here page rank of 5 is 0.2098 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.04196 so the third iteration values will become uh, page rank of p1 will become 0 0.28098 page rank of p2 will become 0 0.19181 
पेज रैंक ऑफ पी थ्री विल बिकम पॉइंट टू सिक्स एट थ्री वन पेज रैंक ऑफ पी फोर एज पॉइंट वन फोर एट फोर सिक्स पेज रैंक ऑफ पी फाइव एज पॉइंट वन नाइन फोर टू सेवन सो वंस यू फाइंड द थर्ड आइट्रेशन वैल्यूज नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड द फोर्थ आइट्रेशन वैल्यूज बाई यूजिंग द थर्ड आइट्रेशन वैल्यूज बिफोर फाइंडिंग द फोर्थ आइट्रेशन वैल्यूज अगेन वी नीड टू फाइंड द डेड लिंक एडजस्टमेंट दैट इज पेज रैंक ऑफ फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव पेज रैंक ऑफ फाइव इज पॉइंट वन नाइन फोर टू सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट एट फाइव द सेम इज रिपीटेड अंटिल द रैंक्स आर कन्वर्ज इट मीन्स वेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द आइट्रेशन इज बिलो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन वी से कन्वर्जेंस इज रिच वी कैन सी दैट फॉर द एट्थ एंड नाइन्थ आइट्रेशन वी आर गेटिंग द डिफरेंस लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन सो दैट द पेज रैंक वैल्यूज आर कन्वर्जेड सो द फाइनल पेज रैंक वैल्यूज फॉर पी वन इज पॉइंट टू सेवन जीरो सिक्स फोर पी टू इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन फोर फोर थ्री पी थ्री इज पॉइंट टू फोर एट फाइव थ्री पी फोर इज पॉइंट वन थ्री थ्री फोर नाइन पी फाइव इज पॉइंट वन सेवन टू नाइन वन इट मीन्स दैट वेब पेज पी वन इज हैविंग मोर इम्पॉर्टेंस बिकॉज पेज रैंक ऑफ पी वन इज मोर एज कम्पेयर टू अदर पेजिस नेक्स्ट वन इज अ वेब पेज पी थ्री आफ्टर पी थ्री द इम्पॉर्टेंट पेज इज पी टू आफ्टर पी टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट पेज इज पी फाइव एंड एट द एंड द पेज पी फोर This is how we apply the page rank algorithm step by step to find the ranks of web pages in given web graph. I hope the concept of page rank algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.